were spared. As best we can tell, the, it went up over the top of us, clipped all these trees. I had one window and a piece of concrete come through the roof. I, I'm, I'm gonna say this is probably the most devastation of a tornado that we've had in my career here with West Kentucky. In the cooperative world, we always take uh, storms seriously, uh, but I don't think ever to, uh, you know, the magnitude that we've seen Friday night. When I, I immediately saw the devastation when I left my house because it had blown through Mayfield and, uh, and tore up our warehouse at the co-op and, uh, and there was debris and poles and stuff in, in the road as I was trying to get to the co-op. We're over here helping the West Kentucky co-op. They got hit by a tornado and unfortunately tore up pretty good. But, uh, we've got co-ops as far as Big Sandy, Licking Valley in the eastern, Cumberland Valley in the eastern part of the state, central part of the state, Shelby, Salt River, I think. Um, we've still got co-ops that are working. Uh, Warren and Penny Rowell have been impacted, impacted hard. They'll be working for, for a while. If you were to ask me something unique about the cooperative world, it's that we live in these communities. Uh, we're impacted uh, by the weather and, and by certain events. And then, you know, the following morning when the sun rises, we have to get out here and get to work. And uh, it, it's, it's where we live, it's our neighbors, it's our community, it's our churches. And so we take it very personal. On the average, we've uh, run into everybody has been very understanding. You know, they understand the, the, the scale and the situation of things, you know, how long, you know, it's going to be. But, but we'll make it, it's a strong community and uh, it's uh, uh, really uh, heart touching to see the response, uh, the influx of, of crews. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of help in here. Anything that we need, they've been trying to give to us. The, the public's been very appreciative. Once we shut the road down and the traffic stopped, we've had countless people just try to come by and, and offer any kind of help. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna stay with it till we can get it on tonight. And then tomorrow we'll move to another spot.